Hello guys, Pastor Preston is my name. I'm so excited to come here with you today, okay? God's word is not an opinion. God's word is an instruction. Wow. So, this God may, may really be a bully. No, he's not a bully, right? Because he tells us that God's word is life. In Proverbs chapter number 4, verse number 13, it says his word is life. Glory to God. And of course, when you read through scriptures, we always understand and find that the word of God is life, okay? So, God's word cannot be an opinion. You don't choose to do what he says, you do what he says. But this is the point, okay? When we now say it's an instruction, we don't choose, that means God must be some kind of bully. He doesn't want to get our own opinion and all of all that point. And then he's forcing us to do what he wants and don't not necessarily care what we want. No, God's word is for your, for your good. God's word works the best out of you. God's word is the best version of you. God's word brings out the beauty out of you. But this is it, and I want you to understand this. God's word is an instruction that he fulfilled, not an instruction that you should fulfill. I believe you're a little bit relaxed now. And I want to get this. Look at it. Philippians chapter number 2, verse number 13. It is God that walketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Right? So God does the work. All you need to do is to pay attention, is to yield, allow him do the work. That is to say, yield to him and he does the work. Okay? We already got. So God is not a bully. You don't use God's word to instruct people, to threaten people, to make people scared. Rather, you show them what the word is and that exposes their scope to allow the spirit of God to express God's character out of their life. Glory to God. Very important. So it's not an opinion. It is an instruction and that instruction has been fulfilled by him. That's why it is called finished work of Christ. Jesus said, every word of God must be fulfilled. And he tells us the danger of not doing it. But you know the interesting thing in that same Matthew 5? He says, I am the fulfillment. So he came to fulfill it. And in us, he works the character, he works the will of God when we just pay attention. Thank you for listening. God bless you. 